that which has created the creator of the creation is responsible for that it's not my responsibility or yours we're merely tools tools I'm just a pen the master is is writing the pen is not writing on its own it's the master who's writing the writer writes this guy here is just a pen now the one who's holding it can write beautiful things or ugly things I'm just a pen that's all I am. Only the pen. And the same thing. You're disappearing. And that who created, that the creator of the creation is entering in and using you. So we'll see what kind of plans there is for you. But whatever it is, it is going to be holy and is going to be representing the truth. Great. <laughs> We're coming to the end of our eight-day um, retreat. Tomorrow is our last and final day I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow um, get some rest my suggestion is to be quiet if you can don't get engaged with the world just sink in with this beautiful being this presence this energy just sit in it just drink it just be in it like allow things to just sink in and marinate without you before you get engaged with the world before you go and turn on the news about the election or this or that and you drag yourself back into the world of thoughts and maya just stay in your center protect your consciousness by staying centered imagine that you are when you're planting a seed and you're putting and it becomes a little tree you planted the seed it's becoming it's germinating it becomes a little plant it can be a big orange tree you know and giving like hundreds of producing oranges but in the beginning, it's a baby. So what you need to do is you need to put a little fence around this plant so dogs, cats, deers, animals don't come and walk on it and break it. So you need to protect it. Then you also put some ropes or threads or something to tie it up, making sure the wind is not going to break it. So you need to protect it so eventually this plant grows and gets stronger it gets to a point that it's strong and it's rooted and the wind is not going to break it and the animals cannot break it so then you don't need the fence and you don't need the rope and then it keeps growing growing and it becomes a huge tree with lots of oranges and a lot of leaves and branches and hundreds of people can come and sit under this orange tree and enjoy the shade in a hot summer day and relax under the shade of this beautiful majestic tree so right now you protect your consciousness by not getting engaged with discussions, news, energies that they're not in your same frequency as you are and they can drag you out. Just take time. Just sit with yourself. 
be in silence, go to the nature, just spend some time by yourself and just kind of let this integrate and this vibration, this beautiful vibration to gradually raises your frequency. So protect yourself, protect your consciousness and the work you've done. I'm here for you. We meet tomorrow. We have Wednesday Academy. So we keep doing the work. We keep doing the work. And as we're doing the work, we see that as we're, my inner world changes. as I'm raising my vibrations to a higher frequency, what happens is the utter world, the world outside of me, will fix itself to where I am. Because it has to. See, this is the difference. These other courses or teachings is to teach you how to positive think positive visualization to m manipulate the world outside you so you can get what you want. This is, is through your mind being silent, you change your vibrations and you go to a higher frequency. It means you changing the TV channel, old days, you know, remember you had to turn the knob? So you're going from a horror movie you're changing the channel and you're going to a comedy. So you're changing the channel within yourself. And as your, your vibration changes and you go to this other consciousness, this other level, then the world which is being presented to you not the world that is being presented to everybody, the one that is being presented to you, because that's all it is, is changes according to your consciousness. Because that world is a projection of your mind. The one that you're interacting with is a projection of your mind. So when your mind goes into silence, you're becoming quiet, naturally, what is coming back to you will be harmonized to where you're at. So you enter into harmony within yourself, but then you're going to find the utter world is starts to serve you. Things falling into pieces. All of a sudden you're meeting conscious people. They're kind to you. They're nice to you or they're in your level that's different than wanting the entire planet to be what you want it to be in your image no the entire planet it does its own thing don't worry about it don't worry about what the planet does it's not important what is important is where you're at don't get distracted Okay, don't get distracted with what go, what's going on there. I know some of it sounds very righteous and it's very important and you have to make a change. That's not how you make the change. You change yourself first. We need you to come to the Buddha that you are. Then you're going to have a much bigger impact. Then it's a universal impact not just a personal impact.